Hello guys, this is Gautam and today we are going to discuss a real time scenario and coming to the scenario, uh, workflow approval should be sent to the particular manager if I am terminating any employee who is working under him with the event is in called termination that is let me show the employee profile go to actions, termination so if I am terminating any employee with the termination reason like resignation no growth then after terminating this employee an approval should be sent to the employees manager and once it is approved then the termination action would be recognized here so if I am terminating this employee with the following reason and clicking on save a workflow will be sent to the manager of this employee and only after he is accepted the termination would be happening so in this case approval should be sent to the particular employees manager now for this we need to create a workflow first of all to define the role where i also already created the workflow and the workflow is termination workflow name and the role i kept as manager in source that is because whomever i am terminating the employees particular manager will get an approval request of termination so he should approve that if he is not approving that then i'll simply stop the workflow so that the termination would be action would be stopped now let's create a business rule for this in order to create a business rule go to configure business rule so going on here click on plus icon click on basic basic rule termination business rule as a name select job information model click on continue now as I told you the event reason should be resignation no growth just go here click on value resignation no growth then set workflow configuration value to be equal to termination workflow which I created this is the workflow I created you can see here just click on save so now I want to up assign this business rule in job information model and I manage business configuration manage business configuration this is the path where you will be assigning the business rule Go to job info take action make correction just go down under trigger rules you need to assign the rule take this object as the object which we took in our business rule that is model and click on save i want on saving the record a workflow should be sent to the manager and business rule which i created assign the rule here termination be a equal to s now just go to people profile any employee profile so that you can perform the action and see whether the approval is going or not let it save so that you can go to employee profile So it got saved. Now we will refresh the employee profile. Now just go to actions, click on termination. Termination date would be today. And the reason I already told resignation no growth is the reason. If I keep that reason, then a workflow will be sent. If I keep other reason, 
other than the no resignation no growth then a workflow should not be sent to any manager so i'll be giving resignation no growth okay to rehire no 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 and it is there now just click on save transfer is you need to set a default termination in condition admins and will be processed so i think there was error for this employee let's go to another employee click on actions termination click on save and uh, we'll be seeing whether we are getting any error see here now we got a workflow where the approver is anchor blinken this is because in workflow we have kept the role as manager right so let's see this particular employee's manager is anke birken so now a workflow is sent and until the workflow is approved the termination action won't be performed you can just go to job information and you can see resignation no growth pending approval and it is sent to anke birken this is because we have created a workflow that is role manager to the employees manager now we, here you can see the supervisor is anke birken this is nothing but the manager of this particular employee so i am terminating this employee with the reason resignation no growth then approval should be sent to the manager so in that way we have designed workflow and a business rule now let's go to proxy now anke birken Who is the manager of this uh, David Weber? Click on OK. Now we just need to approve the termination request so the the employee will be terminated. Approve request. So this is you can see resignation no growth for David Weber initiated by me. So let's accept the workflow so that approve. You can send back it even if you want don't want to approve, then just send back the request so that the employee won't be terminated. Then you can say the manager has rejected the termination workflow. Now I have accepted the termination on behalf of the manager. now we can see that the employee is terminated because the manager has accepted accepted the workflow request let's go to david weber so this is the david weber let's go to him and see whether the employee is terminated or not go down go down to job information see this is the date which i have kept this is because i kept on jan 7th right so it will be taking into effect on 7th that is tomorrow you can see today's day that is 06 and i kept the date of jan 07 so tomorrow the employee will be terminated automatically as per the timing CST timing, so you can see a record is already created. Future termination record, which says the event is in resignation no growth and the employee gonna be terminated. This is the thing how you can trigger a workflow for a particular termination action of an employee to his manager. So I hope you like the content. I keep subscribe my channel so that you can get more content. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.